What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another preview, breakdown, and prediction video. This week, we're bit breaking down Lara vs. Wood 2. This is a fight that I really don't think is getting enough of shine. Um, when you watch the first fight, I mean, it was a spectacular fight. Obviously, it ended seventh-round knockout for Lara, you know, taking the belt and new. Um, but what a fight. What a really, really good fight. And obviously, coming off the back of such a big fight with Haney and Lomachenko, you're going to have a little bit of an adrenaline dump, right? You're not going to get that that promotion, that shine. But I just don't think this fight has been promoted enough. I don't think it's it has enough eyes on it. And it's one definitely that we do need to talk about and discuss a little bit. Uh, before I do get into this video and before I do break things down, I do want to thank everybody who has joined the channel, who has commented, who's liked uh, who's gave me their opinions on the last fight. Obviously, Lomachenko and Devin Haney was very controversial for a lot of people. A lot of people thought Haney won. A lot of people thought Lomachenko won. Um, loved all your feedback. I try to answer everything. The last video, I believe, got like 3,000-something views and like a, a ton of comments. And I really did my best to answer all the questions, and I will continue to do so. So I really, really do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment below. I will answer any questions you guys have about a fight when I do the reaction videos or or whatever the case may be. If you want to argue with me about certain things, as long as you keep it clean, it's totally fine. I want to build a nice boxing community for everybody just to come uh, and give their input and feedback. There is no right or wrong answer. We're all here for one reason, to really watch some great fights and watch this sport continue um, to strive. Um, so let's talk about this fight a little bit. Um, you know, when they first fought the first time, you had Lara coming into the fight, obviously, um, with Wood as the champion. And if you really, really, really look at that fight, and I'm going to bring something up that I noticed <coughs> in the first fight, the reason why I do think Wood got caught. But if you look at these guys' styles, they're, they're, they're stark, stark contrasts in their styles, right? You got a guy in, in, in Wood who is much more of a technical striker. This guy will literally utilize his jab. He, he really understands footwork. He understands how to use the real estate of the cage. Uh, he will utilize his jab to set things up. Um, he will get in. He will get out. But sometimes in this fight, I did notice that he can be caught admiring his work a little bit too much. And when you're stylistically matched up with a guy like Lara like that, you will pay the ultimate consequence, which he absolutely did in uh, round seven of that fight. Now, if you watch the overall outlay of that fight, and if you really watched it <coughs> from round one until it ended, you'll notice that Wood was getting off a lot of the cleaner work. If you really looked at the fine lines of the work, the mechanical drawing of his fighting style was cleaner, was better, was sharper, was more fundamentally sound. But if you look at the way Lara was attacking him, every time he did hit him with a body shot or hit him upstairs, it just seemed like the damage was being accumulated more. There was more effect. It was more effective aggression on the end of Lara. So it was almost like you're sitting there watching the technical abilities of Wood, and you're just hoping that he's not going to admire his work too much and end up getting caught by one of Lara's shots. Because that's the way the fight was kind of formulating, right? You had I had the fight four rounds to two going into the seventh, and I had it for Wood. I had Wood winning just off the technical prowess, just off of him being the cleaner fighter, getting in, getting out, utilizing his jab. And if, when you look at Lara now, how does he like the fight? This is a guy who he, he's very, very good at. He's usually a fast starter, right? Like if you really watch Lara fight, he's a fast starter. He will kind of come in. There's really no feel out process for him. It's very, very minimal, right? And he will edge his way very slowly inside. And what he does so well is he has a, a really good gazelle punch that helps him clear space. And that's what he utilizes. And that's really his blueprint. Not many adjustments outside of that. This is a guy who, who literally likes just to, to hunt you down. He's got a nasty, nasty left hook. Um, and all he needs is one to connect. And if he lands that one left hook, if that one left hook lands in a prime location, the chances are you're going down. And that's really the whole fight, what he was looking for. And if you watch that fight, that was kind of his bl blueprint. He was kind of losing rounds, you know, in the beginning of every round. And then he would try to storm back later in the rounds to try to, you know, accumulate that damage to kind of either steal a round or just go for a knockout. Um, but that's what he does very well. Is, is he literally will, will creep in, he will work his way in really, really slow, and then to clear that extra space fast, he will use a, a very good slick gazelle punch, and then he will start going to the body, and then obviously he will dip and he will look for, he'll look for that left hook. What I wanna do right now is I wanna pull something up and I wanna show you guys of something that I did notice 
in that fight. And I want to talk about admiring your work and leaving your cards on the table. There, there are certain things in boxing that you, you have to utilize things to set things up. For instance, if you're using a jab, we all know a jab is used for a multitude of reasons, right? A jab is used to, you know, to, to cover your real estate, to, make, to keep somebody honest, but it's also there to hide certain attacks. And um, Wood did a really, really good job of that uh, during the fight, but there was one situation, which was the knockout, where he kind of, he just gave up his cards. He gave up a, a, a complete read, and you can't see it so much in fast motion, but if you really, really look at it in slow motion, you'll see what I mean. He literally put his cards on the table, and he let Lara know exactly what he was going to do. Uh, and I do want to go to that right now. When you watch this in, in fast motion now, you're not really going to notice the knockout. It just looks like it was kind of simultaneously both of these guys threw the punch. Okay? Keep an eye right here. Okay, it looked like both of these guys simultaneously threw a punch, right? When you watch this in slow motion, watch the way, um, watch the way uh, Wood just gives his cards away right here now watch this in slow motion watch the read right here watch his shoulder dip watch boom that is uh, that right there he literally let lara know exactly what he's doing he just showed his card um if you go back and you see that again and this is what i mean by admiring your work too much sometimes and just getting sloppy you can't get sloppy with a guy like lara this is if you look where his eyes are he is looking directly at his body language to see where he's going to make a move and look at Wood, dip that shoulder, and boom, and Lara comes up the top with his left hook. Now, you're, 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 you're giving up your cards in a situation where you're throwing a hook and you're giving Lara an opportunity to land that left hook. That, that's what he's known for. You know, so that was the mistake that Wood made. If you're watching that angle, too, you'll see he dips his shoulder and he completely gives his cards up. Let's watch it again. That is just, that's a terrible mistake. I mean, it's, it's, it's an honest mistake. It's an honest mistake, but that's where that fight was lost. <clears throat> I think Wood is the better boxer. I think he's the cleaner striker. I think he has more tools in the bag. I think his footwork is better. I think his, his jab is better. I think his overall volume is better. He needs to fight an extremely clean fight from opening bell until closing bell. He can't admire his work. He can't get sloppy. Um, he can't get into a firefight with Lara. There were some times in that fight, including in the second round, he actually got rocked. He got into a little bit of a firefight. He started feeling himself a little bit, which is fine. You want him to taste your power. You want to back him up. Both of those guys were doing a very, very good job uh, with body work. Lara was doing a little bit more. Like I said, anything that Wood threw was effective. But when Lara threw something, it was uber effective. You can see it took more of a toll on Wood than it did Lara. So in order for Wood to really win this fight, he's got to be patient. He's got to be patient from, from the opening bell to the closing bell. He can't get overzealous. He can't get caught in a firefight. He can't get his feet tripped up. He can't put his cards on the table, and he can't admire his work. Th you know, every rematch has adjustments, right? Like, that's what we always talk about. Like, what adjustments are going to be made? Wood has more adjustments as he, that he's capable of making in this fight where Lara's going to fight the way Lara fights. That's the way he fights. You, you, Lara's not going to come into the ring and be this super uber clean boxer, and he's going to use volume, and he's going to touch you up with the jab, and he's going to use all these angle manipulations and stuff. like. It's just not the way he fights. This guy's going to come in. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to try to sneak in slowly on the inside, you know, throw that gazelle punch, slide inside. He's going to start working the body. He's going to all fight for if it goes 12 he's going to be looking to land that let that that money shot that left hook wood has the ability now to work around that he understands where he made his mistake and he actually knows he made a mistake because he did not come and say well you know it was, you know he threw i threw we both connected you know he connected first he knows he made a mistake he knows he put his cards on the table and he got a little sloppy in his form um, so he has the ability now to write that ship. He has the ability now to work around that, draw a blueprint around what Lara does so good. Where Lara really can't, Lara was losing that fight. Can he make adjustments on certain things? Can he try to get inside a little quicker? Can he try to start a little faster like he usually does start faster? Lara did have a little bit of a slow start there. Yes, he can, but at the end of the day, if you take that mistake away and you take that knockout away, 
Wood is on his way to winning that fight if nothing else happens in the prior round. So Wood was actually, like I said, he was the cleaner striker. He was throwing more volume. He was getting, he was controlling the real estate a little bit more. Uh, but the punches were affecting him more. But he was still winning those rounds. Um, so that's what you basically got to look for here. You got to make sure that you are calculated from point A to point B. The minute you get sloppy, that's what Lara's going to be waiting for. He's not going to try to outwork you. He's not going to try to outbox you. He's not going to try to outslick you. He is going to try to wait for you to make a mistake. He's going to take his shots and see if he can, you know, uh, capitalize on a certain situation by sheer just right time, right place. But other than that, he's going to do exactly what he did in round seven. That was a beautiful, beautiful setup by him. He let Wood set his own trap. He saw the shoulder dip. He read the body language. He came up, put the stairs with the left hook, and caught him and put him to sleep. If you look at this fight, I mean, you got Wood as a you know a, a, over a two to one underdog in this fight, and I understand why. Like I understand why because you're looking at twelve rounds for Larry to l land that kill shot, um, and you're also looking at the, the the platform of that fight previous, and you see that. Lara was landing the more damaging shots. Lara had more effect on Wood. Lara, you know, hurt him in the second round before the seventh round. Lara ended up uh, knocking him out. So, like, all the cards are kind of in his favor. He's also the champion now. So he deserves to be the rightful favorite. But if you really look at the overall landscape of the fight, if Wood makes those adjustments and he stays patient, and he, you know, he controls the real estate. And he doesn't allow himself to get baited and, in, in, you know, into the into an inside war. And just stays outside, utilizes his jab, gets in, gets out, gets in, gets out for the entire landscape of the fight. He might be able to frustrate Lara because Lara does tend to slow down later in fights. And when you frustrate Lara, that's when he starts loading up, and that's when he starts really swinging for the fences. And he's that's it's almost like desperation mode at that point. The more energy expenditure that you use, obviously, the later in rounds go, the more tired you're going to get, and Wood can literally just run away with the fight at that point. I'm, I'm going to say that, that Wood uh, gets his belt back. Um, I think that one of these guys, I think there's a high probability for a knockout here, but if Wood fights the way that I feel that he should fight, I can also see him winning the decision on the card. This is either going to be a knockout by Lara because he's not going to, I don't think he's going to win on the judges' scorecards. Like I said, I think if this does go to the cards, you're looking at a much more technical boxer uh, in Wood. So Lara has to get that knockout. Where Wood really has two ways to win. He could completely outclass him, class him with boxing or he can end up knocking him out. So I think this is a really, really good fight. I think this is an underrated fight. If it's a really good fight, I'll do a reaction video. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this fight. I've been looking forward to this fight for a while. This fight has not gotten enough, uh, enough traction. So definitely, I'm going with the underdog here. I'm going to go with Wood to just kind of outsmart him, outclass him, and maybe get a late knockout, maybe around the 10th round, catching, you know, Larry getting a little sloppy in there. So it's either going to be 10th round knockout or a Wood by decision for me. Um, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Like. I will talk to you on the next fight.